termination meeting is something that everybody that was laid off went through and potentially you may find yourself in the same situation. You must know how to play the game of termination processes. Second, what you should not do. And third, and lastly, what you should do. All into a room. There's usually two members of management there. One your immediate boss, the other one typically from HR. Now, at this point in time, you must remember that they are your adversaries. They're no longer your manager. They're, they are company witness A and company witness B. When you go into the room, they'll have documents. They might slide you over some COBRA documents, perhaps a severance document. Um, all those kind of documents we'll talk about at a later date uh, and a different video. But the point is at this time, is when they give you those documents, do not waste your time reading those documents. You read them at home. Focus in on them, listen what they have to say, which is a very important step, and that is what not to do. Listen, don't talk. When you're at these meetings, they will be the ones talking. They have already scripted what they're going to tell you. There's no give or take. There's no negotiations. These are your adversaries. Do not attempt to waste your time by trying to convince them to change your mind. It's not going to happen. It's never happened in 20 years that I've worked. It doesn't work. They cannot leave that room with any other direction but you being displaced from the workforce. So don't waste your breath. It is what I call an unsympathetic room. You can say whatever you want. They're not going to believe you or not going to care. But by talking, you can risk some things. You can risk your point. And when I said don't talk, you can always ask questions. I, I suggest you do ask questions. Try to get them to speak a little more. Why is that document? They've had time. They've had their attorneys review it. You don't. You're, you're reading stuff for the first time. You're very emotionally charged. You never sign a document. There. Three. And that is take notes. Now, I don't suggest you take notes at the meeting. The meetings only last five to ten minutes. They're very short-lived, they're scripted on their part, and they go so fast in the car, or as soon as you get in the bus, when you leave, you take notes before you contact any family or investigator type questions. Who was at the meeting? What were their job titles? What was said during that meeting? During that meeting, um, try to be as exact as possible. For good or for bad, in your case, get it exact. Where did it play, take place? At what location in the building? Whose office? When? What date? What time? How long did it last? Why did it take place? What did they tell you? Why did you lose your standing? That the company and your managers are your adversary at the termination meeting. You can help protect yourself and avoid company exploitation. Thank you.